Crawley by trade, but David Jones will no doubt be wishing he had the powers of a snake charmer. He's about to try spending 121 days in the same room as 40 poisonous snakes. <laughs> Why? Well, he's trying to break a world record. I'm slightly freaked out by the fact that the snake is just to the left of the camera, but for, four more, for more than four months, David will be cohabiting with puff adders, black mambas, and snouted cobras, to name but a few. He's about to leave Crawley and fly to South Africa for the challenge in April and rear strategy has been finding out more. If I get bitten, I'll almost certainly end up in hospital. Before I boil the kettle, I need to look inside it to make sure there's nothing in it. I think Martin Smith, who holds the record here, one of the black members tried to climb up his nose. Great. One man, one room, 40 snakes. Everything I do is going to have to be done at a slower pace than normal. Uh, I won't be able to just jump out of bed in the mornings and stretch around and uh, say, right, okay, what are we doing today? Even people who like snakes, you know, and enjoy snakes, um, probably wouldn't want to do what I'm going to do. Um, but I just feel like I want to push it just that little bit further. David insists he's not mad. He just wants to break the world record. That's currently 113 days snake bound, held by this man, Martin Smith. Surprisingly, he escaped without being bitten. But Nutty Sport here wasn't so lucky. Bitten twice, almost having his leg amputated. I mean, there is a risk of death, unfortunately. Um, uh, however unlikely it is, there is a possibility of that. I mean, that's a worst case scenario. Uh, David's a little less relaxed than the snake expert. These are, after all, housemates. He'll be extra careful not to annoy. Rhea Chatterjee, BBC Southeast Today, Canterbury. Well, I'm not sure I'm 